guys, so today is September 11th, 2023. <gasps> I just realized it's 9, it's 9 11. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so as I was saying, today is September 11th, 2023, and it is my first day of senior year, aka my last first day of high school. And I literally cannot believe that I'm a senior. Like, I know that everyone that's a senior says that they can't believe they're a senior, but I literally. When I was younger, I used to look at seniors as being so old and mature and cool and they just had their whole life figured out and they were adults and they were just like, they were just so cool. And now I'm a senior and I don't feel... Anyway, I'm gonna try not to write too much about that because we get it. You don't feel like you're a senior, move on. Anyway, but yeah, today um, is the first day of school. And also, if you're wondering why it is September 11th and I'm just now starting school, it's because I'm doing online school for my senior year. And I'm not going to go into the whole rant on why I'm doing online for my senior year because I talked about that in some previous videos. Yeah, so I'm doing online school. It's actually um, 840, 8.45 right now, guys. Um, and I woke up at 6.30. So I haven't been having a super productive morning. I really just like woke up, I had my coffee, I did my skincare. I really don't know why it took me two hours to finally sit down and start getting ready, but here I am. We're gonna start doing a little get ready with me. And the past two years of school, when I was doing in-person school, I didn't do any like first day of school get ready with me's. I did get ready with me's, but I didn't do first day of school get ready with me's because I'm always so stressed on the first day of school, like especially the past two years. I just was really stressed and I didn't feel like doing get ready with me's when I was already rushed and stressed. But this year I'm doing online school again, so I can just relax, take my time, talk to the camera for multiple hours if I want, just like take my time getting ready. So we have the classic get ready with me setup. I have a bag with all my makeup products. We have the mirror. This is the good old mirror that has literally been with me through every single get ready with me video. I'm very thankful to this mirror and everything that it has done for me so far in my life because it's just there for me. Like every get ready with me video, this mirror is there. She's a real one. She knows knows what she's doing. She's She's there for me. Before I start getting ready, I want to take some time to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Scentbird. So if you've never heard of Scentbird before, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that lets you pick out a new designer fragrance every single month for only $17. Scentbird carries popular fragrances from brands such as Prada, Gucci, and Versace, but they also have more like indie brands such as Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. They also carry a wide variety of unisex scents and colognes, so no matter what type of perfume or scent you're looking for, they'll have something for you. I feel like we all know at least one person that they always smell so good and they kind of have like their signature scents. I've always wanted to be that person, but I always just find it very overwhelming when shopping for perfumes because there's so many scents out there. So that was my problem for the longest time is I would buy a big bottle of perfume. I would end up not liking it. It just ended up being a waste of money and it was super frustrating. And that is why I love Scentbird so much because it gives you the freedom to discover and explore new scents without committing to a full big bottle. This month I received three different fragrances from Scentbird and they come in these really cute little travel cases. There's a bunch of different colors to choose from. And technically this is sample size, but I will say that this is a very generous amount of perfume. So when you receive fragrances from Scentbird, they're going to send you a card to go with each fragrance. The first one that I got is from the brand Joe Loves. It has undertones of black currant, myrrh, nutmeg, dates, and ebony. And for some reason, the scent really reminds me of when you go into a super expensive bougie store. Like it just smells expensive and it smells so good. The next scent that I got is from the brand Juliet Has a Gun and it is in the scent Vanilla Vibes. So this is a very just classic vanilla scent. And the undertones are sea salt, vanilla, and musk. And then the last one that I received is from the brand Skylar and it is in the scent Boardwalk Delight. This one has undertones of cotton candy, coconut milk, and pure vanilla. So this is kind of another vanilla scent. It smells very young and youthful. If you guys are interested in checking out Scentbird, I'll have their website linked down below and you guys can use the code Erica Diane to get 55% off of your first month at Scentbird. With the code, your total will be just a little bit over $7, which is such a great deal. So yeah, thank you once again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link in the description to check them out. Okay, so I'm finally gonna go ahead and start getting ready and I'm bringing out the classic get ready with me clips that I use in like every single video. I'm gonna go wash my hands. For some reason, I always have this thing where I need to wash my hands before I touch my face. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm back and I also wet my beauty blender. So as you guys know, I'm doing online school. 
and I think the only thing that I'm really gonna miss about going to in-person school is seeing my friends every day but I'm still gonna see my friends sometimes just not every day but I gotta say I was so stressed like when I went to school I don't know what it was about school although okay I, I do know there was a lot of work and I didn't feel like I had time to do anything that I was like super passionate about because I would get home and I would do homework and I'd be like really tired and I was really slacking on my YouTube social media grind and like I didn't have energy to hang out with people after school all the time I think I already told you guys this in a previous video but I only need one English credit to graduate high school so I'm only gonna be having like one class at a time which I'm really really excited about and I am gonna be doing dual enrollment which is like you do school through a college and it's a college level class but you're doing it as a high schooler to get your high school degree but then it's also giving you college credits so i applied for dual enrollment at a local college and i wasn't gonna go in person but like i applied for online and i just did that one because i was familiar with it and i got in so i was accepted into the dual enrollment program but i procrastinated actually applying for a class like i was in the system but I was procrastinating actually applying for my English class. So I emailed the professors and I was like, guys, can I please just get in? I'm so sorry, I procrastinated and I wasn't really expecting anyone to let me in and they didn't, which is understandable because I procrastinated and I shouldn't have procrastinated. So then I applied to a different college to enrollment program and I got into that. So yeah, I'm doing like a college level class and I thought that this was gonna last me the entire year. Like I thought that I was just gonna do one like the same English class throughout the entire course of my senior year, like up until May. But after I applied for this class, I realized that it only goes till October, like the end of next month. So technically speaking, I could graduate high school next month if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that because I kind of like doing school content and I like just overall learning and having a little bit of school to do and feeling like I'm a kid and like I have some more responsibilities. So after I finish the English class, I'm just gonna keep signing up for more classes and as I mentioned, these are going to be giving me college credits, but I don't know if I'm going to go to college yet, which I know is kind of controversial, maybe not as much anymore these days, but I just don't know like what I would go to college for. And also just going to school makes me really stressed. And I know that's not a good reason to not do something, but I feel like my main reason is I really want to do social media or something in this realm. And I don't really think you need a college education to do that and at this point I feel like if I would be going to college it would just be so that I don't get judged by other people and also just so that I have kind of that security and I know that it's not as looked down upon as it used to be like even 20 years ago it was probably a lot less acceptable to not go to college I don't know it's still kind of a thing that people tend to judge because it's like oh you're not going to college like so yeah, at this point, I'm not planning on going to college, but then, you know, it could change if I find something that I really want to go for or that I'm passionate about. I just want to make sure that I don't waste my time and money. I love learning, and that's the thing is I would, you know, definitely want to keep learning or doing something to learn after I'm graduated with high school. But when there's just a bunch of classes, I just get so stressed and I'm just not myself. I know that in previous Get Ready With Me videos, I've done a question thing on my story and answered questions, but this year I kind of just felt like letting myself loose and just seeing what comes to my mind, which is probably not a good idea because I always just think about the most random things and I say the most random things. So hopefully this video isn't too all over the place. I'm just gonna be like talking. Okay, this is really random, but the other day my sister and I watched The Notebook and I know that it's like The Notebook's a really classic movie to talk about and to cry over, but I literally, something about seeing old people, like just old people, it just makes me really sad because I know that one day I'm gonna be old and then you're gonna look back on your life and you're gonna think about all of these things. And I also saw this really sad video of these two sisters and they were saying goodbye to each other and they were really old and it was like, they, it was their last time seeing each other. I definitely should have planned out talking points because this is getting really sad really fast. Oh, wait. Okay, I actually don't think I can trust myself to just randomly speak because I don't like what is coming out of my mouth right now. This is way too sad. I'm just going to post a quick ID story asking you guys to give me topics to talk about. Also, you guys should let me know if you want me to do a more detailed makeup routine because I'm not really doing a makeup routine video right now because I can't. How does everyone have different phone numbers? That is like such a random topic, but I also love that because 
I don't know. That's... I can't get into stuff like that. There's so many random topics I just don't understand. And one of those things being, um, how does everyone have a different phone number? Another one being road work and construction and just architecture in general. I, I don't know if I sound like a complete idiot for saying this, but I literally just don't, I just don't understand how you're smart enough to like know how to build a road and design roads and time the traffic lights and build things and make Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But it's also really impressive how people can do stuff like that. So that's my thoughts on that, I guess. <laughs> okay guys, so I was literally talking for the past 25 minutes about random topics, answering questions and doing makeup. And then my camera died and it didn't save the footage. So now all that footage of me like talking and doing a makeup is gone, which I kind of want to cry because that's really sad. But basically I like did my blush, highlighter, I'm ready to do mascara, lips, and then I'm actually almost done getting ready and I, uh, I feel like this get ready with me video is like falling apart. I had good topics. I was talking about good stuff Some of the topics that you guys were asking me about is just like hobbies. What do I do in my free time? What have I been up to recently? This is kind of random but one of the things that my family and I have been into recently is Pickleball. I'm guessing we've all kind of heard about pickleball before but if you haven't heard about it before It's basically like tennis mixed with ping pong, but it's really big and you have these kind of paddles and you're hitting almost a wiffle ball type of looking ball back and forth and you have a teammate I don't, I'm really not good at describing this but it's really fun so over the summer my friends and I were kind of into tennis so we would go and play tennis probably like once a week maybe not quite once a week but we were just very casually playing tennis it was really fun I really really suck at tennis but it was like still super fun to just go and do something with my friends but then a few weeks ago my family and I went on a vacation and we were playing pickleball on the vacation and that was my first time playing and it is so much fun and I'm definitely a lot better at it than I am at tennis because I kind of low-key like I said suck at tennis anyway so after we came home from vacation we have kind of been playing maybe one or two times a week if even that it kind of depends but yeah we'll see if that's something that like my family and I keep doing because I think it's really fun and then another thing that I really like to do on free days or during my free time like if I know I'm gonna have a free day is hang out with friends and obviously like hang out with friends whatever but we've been doing some really fun stuff recently so yesterday me and some of my friends went to the city and I usually kind of have my comfort spots that I go to in the city but we tried some new places so first of all we went to this little bead shop and it was literally heavily i was kind of overwhelmed because i loved everything in there but it was basically this shop and there was so many beads and jewelry and jewelry making supplies and string and pendants and all this stuff and it was literally so magical and pretty and i got a few things so first of all i got some string because i'm hoping to make some necklaces and i got i think six feet for 60 cents which was a really good deal and then i got four of these little rock pendant gemstone beads so first of all we have this little hand painted lily pad type of bead and i think this is so pretty and i really want to make this into a necklace if i can and then i got a little heart charm and i'm gonna either put this on a bracelet or a necklace once again and then i got this long kind of like green stone and i'm also also, once again, hoping I can do like a necklace. So put the string through the top, wrap it around, do a little necklace. I feel like that would be really pretty. And then same thing here with this blue one that I got. I want to make it into a necklace. So yeah, that's probably something I'm going to do later today. And then after the beach shop yesterday, my friends and I went to this really cute little Swedish candy shop, which I had never been there before. But it was basically a typical candy shop where you go in and you have your bag and you fill it with candy and it was so much fun. And it just made me feel like I was literally a kid in a candy shop because i I got a bunch of like marshmallows and gummies and stuff like that and it was just really fun and then we were out in the rain and we were kind of like walking in the rain of the city with our candy it was really fun and it kind of just reminded me that I need to be more open to trying new places not that I was like necessarily ever close off to trying new places but I always kind of tend to go to the same spots because I know that I like those spots okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara and you guys know I cannot talk while I do my mascara because it is just one of those things that I really have to concentrate on something i've been doing recently is like using micellar water to clean off my eyelash curly before i use it because there tends to be like leftover makeup on it so i'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara real quick it's a good lash when my lashes look good it just makes me so happy because i don't always have good lash days but like i think i definitely need to talk about at least one more topic you guys gave me so many things that make you genuinely happy and this literally makes me so happy 
that you asked that because I just started making a note on my phone things that make me happy things that I love and I'm gonna read what I have so far when my room is super cold and I cuddle up in my bed with a bunch of blankets I feel like that's just one of the best feelings ever and I know that it's a very privileged blessed position to be in where you can get into bed with the AC all down with your cozy covers and be in a nice house when it's raining outside and it's like cozy and even though I know that a lot of people don't get to experience that and it makes me really sad I'm so very grateful that I have the opportunity at this point in my life to be able to have that experience sleeping with wet hair and I know that you're not supposed to sleep with wet hair guys and I try not to but every now and then I do just because it makes me feel so cozy and safe because when I was little I would always wash my hair and then crawl into bed so it kind of just takes me back to when I was younger and I would crawl into bed with wet hair and also my hair low-key looks really good in the morning when I go to bed with wet hair because it kind of just dries and I have kind of curly hair you can't really see right now little frogs and animals in general I don't know why I like Frogs. I have this thing in my head where I think I like frogs, but I haven't really interacted with many frogs in my life So I might actually like be really scared of them But I like the idea of little cute frogs or just little drawings of frogs Do I actually like frogs? I don't know But I just like little small animals in general like puppies cats. They just make me really happy So feeling pretty doing my makeup nature with no buildings or random people I love nature in general, but I love it especially when it's just like straight-up open nature and there's not a ton of random people and buildings and it just makes me really happy when someone genuinely says i miss you that means so much to me or if they just will like randomly say something that is super nice because my love language is words of affirmation so that makes me really happy being a passenger in the car at night just like driving at night in general but it's also nice when i'm not driving and the last one on this list is being myself and these sound like so corny guys but that was just like what i wrote down the other week when i was making that list but i love that i've kind of come to the point where i like being myself and i just like who i am and how i look and my personality and i'm not saying that i'm never insecure like i definitely have insecure moments but compared to how i used to be i used to kind of like look at other people and wish that i was them or whatever but that's just not really me anymore and i love that i'm at a place in my life where i can like be happy with who i am and being myself like okay this is kind of getting corny and cheesy really fast so i recently got my first lipstick and i don't know why i've never gotten a lipstick before but i've always just been like a lip gloss lip tint lip liner type of girl but i saw sydney serena on tiktok talking about this lipstick and her lips are literally perfectly gorgeous and i loved the color so i got it it's the mac lipstick in the shade twig so i'm gonna test it out i kind of tested it out when i first bought it but i haven't tried it on like fresh clean lips like i already had lip gloss on when i put it on so okay i feel like it did not go on that smoothly i'm gonna do a little bit of lip gloss because i don't know how i feel about the super matte look but i think i like the color okay guys so my makeup is officially done and i don't know why but it took me so long to get ready today i think it's because i literally don't have anywhere to go so i was just sitting here and getting ready but i'm ready for the day and now i just need to take these clips out yesterday i put in way too much heat protectant on my hair and now it's really weighing my hair down so i feel like today might not be my best hair day which is fine but like anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed but i don't really know if i want to do a full-on cute outfit because like i'm not going anywhere we're just doing online school obviously so it's like why would i get a cute outfit and i know that a lot of people say that you're supposed to put on a cute outfit when you're working from home because it makes you feel more motivated and maybe that's true but i also am a little bit happier when i'm comfy when i'm in comfy clothes so maybe i'll keep these sweatpants on and just change my shirt also guys this is my setup for filming if you were wondering we got all the lights we got the mirror you got the makeup bag I actually need to get someone to help me with this because I just cannot do this. I cannot do mirrors on. Okay guys, so I'm officially ready for the day. And as you can tell, I decided to go with the comfy vibe. I'm wearing this gray quarter zip that I actually thrifted from the men's section. And I realized the men's section always has like the best hoodies. So I got this from the men's section at Goodwill. And then I'm wearing the same sweatpants as I was earlier. And I know that's like kind of a lazy move 
to not even try to change my sweatpants but i really just don't feel like changing out of them because i love them so much i just got these from brandy Melville and they're very comfy anyway so i'm gonna go downstairs and make myself some breakfast real quick and then get started with my school because it's literally like 11 o'clock i don't know how it took me that long to get ready i've kind of just been in my room the whole morning really 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 taking my time but i need to actually get started with the day and get started with school <laughs> This has been my favorite smoothie recently. It is literally so good and it has <laughs> It has 30 grams of protein and it like in my opinion tastes absolutely amazing. So it has blueberries and then either mango or Pineapple so some sort of yellow fruit protein powder and I use a plant-based protein powder Which I just personally like the taste more ground flax seeds ground chia seeds either like lemon juice or some sort of tangy thing to add a little bit of a tang I'm really trying not to get overwhelmed because I'm looking at all the work, the amount of assignments and discussion posts that she's already posted, I'm a little bit scared. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> 